What is up, Rex fans? Today is the day. We are going to be doing our first Power Mods on the 2018 WRX. If you guys are stoked, stick around. This is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so first things up is the fluid dampener. This is a viscous torsional vibration dampener. This guy is going to be replacing the OEM crank pulley on the FA20 engine. And it is slightly heavier, but it's got some silicone in there and some other constructional parts that are really going to help smooth out the engine and absorb a lot of that torsional vibration that the FA20 is notorious for. If you guys have any questions, things like that, I'm going to be posting a lot of links in uh, video links to the company itself so you can really get some more information on what this product really does. This thing is fucking amazing. And since we're going to have the belt off today, we're going to also throw in the Perrin lightweight water pump pulley. This guy's 30% lighter. It's going to be an awesome addition to this whole mod. Alright guys, we're going to get all the products open here in just a second. Uh, walk you through each one individually. The Perrin, the fluid dampener, and then the Company 23 crank pulley kit. So. I'm uh, just going to get this set up and then we'll talk about it. Cool, alright, first thing is up is Company 23. Let's see if we can get that in there for you. Came across these guys online, they have a huge assortment of Subaru parts that you can get. Decal, pretty cool. Not sure what I'll throw it on. Company 23. So here it is. Pulley and sprocket pivot wrench. This guy is gonna be used to get the pulley and the crank pulley all taken out of the FA20. So, does come with Pulley pin kit. Right there, this pin kit is model 542 and the wrench is 541. I'll provide links to all this below. Next up, fluid dampener. This thing is solid. This thing is a beast. We got the Perrin lightweight water pump pulley. This is gonna be an awesome mod in addition to the fluid dampener. Just gonna really help smooth out the engine and try to free up any of that power that may be lost. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Sorry if the light isn't too great. Um, this first part is just pretty basic. We're gonna start by removing plastic cover here, snorkel here for the intake, and possibly one, maybe two of the fans. Quick heads up, the intake snorkel and the engine cover are both held down by two plastic pops and then the fans, trusty old 10 mil. Anyways, just get out your 10 mil and there's only two holding that in so I'm going to go ahead and pop out this first fan here on the left and see if I have enough room. And lastly, before you pull this fan out, down at the bottom over there there's a clip. Uh, it's just a little plug in right there, just pop that guy out. Once you do that, you'll be able to freely pull the fan out. All right, the next step I'm gonna take is locate the water pump pulley, which is this little guy down here at the bottom. It's held down by three 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and break those loose first before I focus on the main crank pulley in the center to get that one off. And then once we get the belt off, we'll replace both of them at the same time. And hopefully, easy does it. All right, for the crank pulley, I have this kind of mocked up right now so you can kind of see what we're working with. I've got the Company 23 tool in here, kind of just wedged. I'm going to use this guy to kind of hold back on the pulley. And then I have the breaker bar here. 
22 millimeter nut down there. It's a short one, I wouldn't use a long uh, socket just because of the space here between the fan and the radiator, you don't want to run into anything. So one more thing, be sure your car is in sixth gear. I've kind of found out through reading in some other videos that you want to keep the car in sixth gear because it's just going to make it a little bit easier to pop this guy off. Next up, we're going to start with the water pump pulley. I'm a big fan of instructions. Preparing, we're just going to throw this on and hand tighten the bolts first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And she's on there. All right, next up, we're going to get the fluid damper on there. Just line it up. I'm going to apply some oil to the bolt. And first thing is torque to 33 foot pounds as directed. Okay guys, if you can see right here, got the timing mark. Bolts torque down to 33 foot pounds. And you can mark it up where you want. If you want to mark it up here, with the blue, just because that's already been marked. And I want to make sure that that rotates a full 45 degrees at least once I tighten it to 95 pounds, which I'm about to do with the torque wrench here wrench set to actually 94 pounds excuse me guys 94 pounds so i'm going to give this a go and i'll be right back okay everything's torqued up we're just going to let her rip thanks guys for sticking around on this video it's, uh, I've just been taking my time. I want to make sure everything's on there to spec into an instruction per pairing and fluid damper. So there was no wobbling on the harmonic dampener. Now that it's installed, so everything looks good. The pairing is torqued down perfectly. No wobbling there. Everything looks good. Belt alignment's great. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, finish reinstalling my fan, uh, intake snorkel, get the cover back on. I'm going to give a test drive and I'll let you guys know. 